Problem 27 asks us to solve the second order homogeneous differential equation, which is also an initial value problem. And that, of course, makes our life very exciting. So we're going to set up the characteristic equation using the coefficients multiplying this out. Uh, that's just going to look like lambda squared plus 4 equals 0 because there's no first order derivative term there. Then solving this out, we're going to get that lambda equals plus or minus the square root of negative 4. And that's definitely complex roots going on there. So we're going to get plus or minus 2i. Now, if we look back at our notes, we can remember that the general form of the solution for this complex roots situation is going to look like c1 times e to the at cosine of bt plus c2 a e to the at times sine of bt. And that a and b are going to come from a complex number that looks like a plus or minus bi. All right. So a in this case is 0, so that's going to end up uh, just turning each of these exponential terms into 1, and that's, uh, that's pretty convenient. So our solution, at least our, uh, our partial solution without the, without the integrating constants solved for, is going to look like this. So now we're going to start doing the, uh, now we're going to start solving for those uh, integrating constants. So to do that, we, uh, we first have to take a derivative of this with respect to t so that we can actually plug in this initial condition. So doing that, we get uh, y prime of t equals negative 2 c1 sine of 2t plus 2 c2 cosine of 2t. Then we can go ahead and actually plug in our initial conditions now. Uh, sorry, this is supposed to say 0. So doing that part first, we're going to get 0 equals uh, c1. And we're going to remember, of course, that cosine of 0 is 1. So uh, that's just going to stay that way, and sine of 0 is 0, so that's going to cancel out the C2, so we're actually done with that part. Now we're going to plug in the initial condition for the first derivative, that's going to, to be 1 equals, now this is of course evaluating it at 0, so then sine cancels out, so then we're going to get 2 c2, because cosine of 0 is 1. So that ends up just being c2 equals 1 half. And now we can actually write out the full solution. So we're going to get y of t equals, now since c1 is 0, it's just going to cancel out the cosine, so we're going to get 1 half sine of 2t. And that's the solution.